thanks for joining me again so this is Loch Hope up in Scotland and this is just clean water going on to 15 by 11 Fabriano watercolour paper this is in fact, I'm just going over the raw sienna there just to clean it. People say, how do you keep your clothes so clean? Because they look absolute mess on the palette. And admittedly, they do look quite uh, quite messy. But all you need to do, just get a just get a, a clean brush. See that yellow there? Just go like that, and it's you got a clean colour. As simple as that. It's not it's not difficult. Um, anyway. Ultramarine blue, bit of Payne's grey. See, I caught the yellow there, it was coming out green slightly, not silvery. Something like that. There's going to be a, a little house here, so I don't want to. In fact, I, sh I should have put the dark on the other side. But I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put some clouds, just lighten it a bit. It's always an easy way of lightening the lightening the paper once you've overdone it with the colour. Just pop a few clouds in, and that's the profile of the house now will come up a little bit better. Um, and then in the distance. We've got a little mountain, but so that's a bit wet. So what I might do is uh, give it a quick dry first, because then it'll stand out better. <coughs> <coughs> so it's a little bit drier. See how it's, it stands out a bit better now, the mountain. Hang on, let's just get the shape of it right. Oh, I mean, it's like a sharp, sharp drop, something like that, and then a few hills below. Stabbing into raw sienna, just keeping the same colours as the sky for this bit. Don't want too much detail at this distance. Those hairs. Just pull out any uh, hairs that look a bit loose, and then I might just hmm. pull down. That's just a slight reflection. You see, it looks a little bit different from the normal reflections because it's dry. You see, when it dries, you don't get sort of soft edges so much. But it don't look too bad. I'll leave it like that, I think, for now. Paper stretched a bit, so I'm just going to pull it tight so it's nice and flat. And then I might get started on this house. So I want the house. The house is in shadow, so just imagine the lights come in from over here and it's coming towards us in this sort of direction. So the house here. Will be. A, I'm going to do it sort of silhouetted. Um, so I want it nice and dark. So I might go sort of burnt umber, raw sienna, burnt umber, ultramarine, bit of Payne's grey. Just throw them all in. Nice dark mix. And then what I might do? I might do it in two coats rather than just the one. Get it nice and dark. So if we've got up here, um, if we just start with our little a little chimney up there. Over there, there's someone else giving up over there. Just getting the uh, the just the shape of it in first. Sort of coming down to something like. Block 
So this is like the first coat. And then when I put the second layer on, it'll be nice and dark. That's what we're giving off. I mean, you can draw this first if you want. I find it a lot easier to draw first rather than do it straight in with the brush. Especially with it being buildings. There's a glass all over the place. And we've got a, just a little roof bit going right down. Like another little chimney up the other side. That's just a simple, as long as the dimensions are there or thereabouts, the brush strokes don't have to be fantastic. <coughs> um, and this is some just something behind it. So I might just, well, I'll, I'll let that dry first, track on with the rest of it. So, I'll just clean the brush. Because lemon yellow, ultramarine, and some big bushes over here. Going right up to our little, little cottage. Um, this is all grass, but just to change the, just to make it a bit more interesting, I might just put a little path in. Just put a little path. I'm just giving light red, ultramarine. And if we just go somewhere like this, and it might, just, I'm thinking, path coming round there and then swooping off, swooping off down there. Something like that. Clean the brush. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> no, sort of just like a distant shore over there. Pebbly sort of beach down there, and then this is more like the top of the hill. So it's getting nice and dark, so that it contrasts against that beach area. So you know that looks. Beach is sort of down below, and this is sort of where it tips off over the edge. That's the most of the time we sort of sing that. Lemon yellow, raw sienna. Let's just push this up to the uh, to our path. before the uh, it dries I might just just stick a few little rocks and stuff on there just to emphasize this uh, this path a bit I don't, I don't want to get too crazy with that I'm going to put them, uh, just darken that house a little bit more, so I'm going back into the uh, the dark colours. In 
fact, now what I might do, actually, I'll just switch to this, switch, switch to the flats first, and I'll just pop some windows in. If I, uh, I'll just dry it. I'll just dry it. slightly darker first. I'm just going to sort of darken just darken the roof area first. shadows in so I'm gonna go what should we go strong shadows burnt umber ultramarine such a light red You need a fair bit of water because you want to see the painting underneath. And again, I'm going to go over there like that. That's all in shadow. And then we've got that's casting a shadow down there, something like that. A few shadows under there. stand out a bit better. Now I want to just pop a little little figure. Just have a little figure by the house. I'm just switching to the uh, the rigger brush. Nice and dark. And then oh, I should have dried that really, wouldn't it? Not so well. Just a little figure there in shadow with the dog. off in the distance to stick a little boat in the water somewhere about there I think just using the damp rigger brush just take out the sail try and get a shape of the sail don't make it too big and then just use a clean t-shirt 
and then just do a slight reflection. <coughs> All that's left to do now, I think, is some little birds. Let's just put them right in the light area. That completes our little painting for today. Pop your signature down and I'll call that one finished. So let's see what it looks like with the uh, main sun. Let's go and have a closer look at it. Starting with the sky, and you can, uh, if we look over here, you can see why I, I used the tissue to make the sky lighter so the profile of the house would stand out more. Maximum contrast. Remember, try and get your lightest lights against your darkest darks. Then we've got our distant mountain there, using the same colours as the sky. This is put in very simply, just the basic shape with the hake. Chimney there on the top. Then just adding the simple windows on the side. There's some scraping out there, the rocks on the side of the path, which leads, well, winds its way up to our little figure with his dog walking back to the house and our little boat there by the mountain and then our birds in the sky well thanks for watching, I hope you like that keep practicing, any questions please ask and I'll see you again soon